All right, I'm gonna show you how to use DeepSeek. And first of all, you gotta download the app, which I've already done, you can see it. And just open it up. And it's just like ChatGPT. Here it is, that's your search bar. This is uh, this is the um, cheap one. I didn't pay the extra money for the <laughs> better one. But anyway, you just go ahead and write anything in there. Um, you can ask it anything. You can come down here and press on your uh, little microphone and Let's uh, let's uh, do this. I'm going to click it. What is the Fifth Amendment to the Constitution of the United States? And then I'm just going to hit send. Or that arrow. <laughs> and here it comes. Thinking. Okay, so I need to figure out what the Fifth Amendment of the Constitution is. And it just kind of pops it out. And you can see it's very extensive. I mean, it's going crazy. And then it'll give you a synopsis at the very end. It's talking about double jeopardy, grand jury, eminent domain, all of the different key aspects of that uh, amendment. So anyway, there it is, the Fifth Amendment of the Constitution, grand jury indictment, protection against double jeopardy, right against self-incrimination, due process, eminent domain, all those clauses, uh, these protections, blah, blah, blah. So bam, that's it. Now, if you want to do a new chat, you can click there. Or you could just write in here and you can keep going. On the bottom, um, you can click these different things. Like if I click this, it copied it, right? If I click this, it goes back up and redoes the whole thing again. Or it kind of re-answers it and it gives you a more detailed or more precise answer. And we you know we gotta wait for it to go through. It's gonna take a while. <laughs> May speed this part up so that you guys don't have to watch it. It's just reiterating what it already, you know, put out there. And then it, you know, prints out the actual amendment. And I think we're done. And then over here, you can give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down, right? If I hit this new chat, it just takes me back to here. And then I can put another one in. Now, let's say that you want to... Take a look at all the chats that you had. You can click up here. You can see I only have one chat, right? Now, if I wanted to get rid of that chat or do something with it, I could press on it and hold it. And then I'm going to get this, uh, this little box that comes up. And in this, I could rename it or I could delete it. If I wanted to rename it, I would just click there and then I would write whatever I want to write inside there. I'm just going to hit done. Let me show you how to delete it. I just push on it. Oh, it just comes back up. Let's go back. All right, so now to delete it, you're supposed to be able to just to push on it and hold it, but that's not letting me do that for some reason. Let's go new chat. All right, now let's go up here. Ah, when it's dark like this, you, you have to push on it. So anyway, you see it's not blue. So if I push on it now, it kind of pops up 3D, and then it gives me the ability to just delete it. And then it's going to ask me, do I want to delete it? And I'm going to go, yeah, I want to delete it. And uh, yeah, no chat. Bam. And then we're back into this right here. So that's basically how you use it. I mean, it's got a couple things up here, ready for a new chat. You've got a thing here that brings up, you can do a photo, you can do an image, and you can do a document. So if you want it to, let's say, <clears throat> you know, you had... Uh, something that you had written up and you wanted it to fact check it or to possibly, uh, you know, check your grammar, you could just go like that. And then what it's going to do is going to give you the ability to search it on your, uh, you know, whatever thing you have. Let's cancel that. Um, if you want to do an image and search the image, you could do that. And then it would look for images in your phone, in your photo app. Um, whoops, let me go back here. And then if you wanted to get a photo, you could do that. And then it's going to look at, you know, you, you, you could, you got to let it, you know, you got to allow it. And then I could point it at this or this thing here and take a picture of it. And then it would search it. You follows me? And, uh, oh, to cancel it, you just hit there and you're back in there. So, yeah, basically that's kind of how it works. Um, uh, search, click that. And now, you know, you put whatever you want in there and it'll search it. But that's kind of like how you use it. All right, if you like this video, subscribe to my channel and check out my other awesome videos on DeepSeek. Peace out.